tough love that, you know, the brotherly love that the Bible speaks of that we, they should have amongst one another. And I truly believe that the love that is shown, um, supposed to be shown amongst Christians, if people were to see them and the type of love that they're supposed to have, if they were to see it, the functioning of the love and the way in, in the flow and uh, of um, unity, wow, um, that would attract people. So <laughs> it would be like, uh, I don't know, they, people would just be so drawn to it. Um, it would be somewhat irresistible to at least want to know what it's like to be a part of something that awesome. I know that in my coming up, you know, I met some, uh, I saw some fake Christians or some uh, hypocrites, and uh, and I saw some people that were really real and out in my church upbringing, they call them sold out. <laughs> You know, they sold out for God. They love it, you know, like he said love. And, and it was obvious. It was obvious the difference between the two. It's so obvious that uh, when I encountered these type of people, I, I noticed it right off hand. My grandmother was so different than a lot of people's, and I saw her whether she's in front of people or she's at home. She was always the same. She's a true lover, you know. She wasn't no fake. She always would. Everything she did, she always would say, if she didn't know how to handle the situation, she'd say, well, let's see. Let's get the Bible and see what God had to say about this. <laughs> and um, she look it up, you know, and if she didn't get an answer for you right then, she would definitely go into depth to find out an answer for you. And she wouldn't give up until she got one that was satisfactory. Awesome woman. People came from all over the world um, to her funeral um, because she was loved by so many, because she was a lover of so many. <laughs> My grandma loved everybody. She would bring people in off the street. And um, we would have to love them just like family. And she instructed us to do so, and she didn't play. <laughs> um, and uh, she say, well, this is such and such, and they family. And that's what we, that's the way we had to treat them. You know? And uh, um, so we just grew up knowing that it was, well, I grew up knowing that it was necessary to love through her example because she was such an awesome person, um, kind of person you couldn't dislike. <laughs> and, uh, I um I, I remember saying sometimes I want to be like Granny, you know, because I watched everything she did and how she touched people and the glow on her face when she would talk about God. Oh man, she had a smile that a lot of Texas <laughs> and uh, you can tell she was in love with with God and um. She wasn't fanatical at all. She was so down there, she would play basketball with us, put her tennis shoes on, and uh, get out there and play basketball with us and things like that. And then I saw that um, she enjoyed her life. Very much so, and uh, always did want to be like her. Um, mostly, not just in appearance, or anything like that, but well, she was a diva too. <laughs> she dressed real spiffy, and because she said that, um, we are examples of God in every way. So, 
so and she always when she address she wanna be an uh, example of what God, you know, um, would want her to be even in her attire, you know, to be um, to get the best, be the best, you know, type of thing. And just everything about her was so awesome. I said, well, you know, if uh, that's what living for God is about, I'm down with that. <laughs> you know, I didn't find um, God as a personal savior. Um, um, he was later down the line, but her example always stuck with me and kind of gnawed at me a bit. Because of the love, you know, if she was repulsive, the way of most Christians I see now, modern Christians, I don't think I would have had that desire to seek to know God in a real way for myself. And that's the purpose of this hangout is, is to point out that um, not the faults of the Christian, the having a lack of love. But to help them understand that when you don't have it, don't nobody won't be like you. <laughs>